Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel and I'm here for Scrapbook Circle today and I want to show you how I made this little spotlight for this really special embellishment that was in one of the Scrapbook Circle add-ons for the February kit. So you'll need some smooth cardstock and you'll need some distress inks. I love the Tim Holtz distress inks because they blend really well and they really mix and match colors really, really well. So I'm picking out three colors of, I'm doing corals this time. I have abandoned coral and um, a couple of other colors. I'll link them all down below so that you know exactly what I used. And I'm gonna use the mini foam blender here. And I really like that because you can get a nice smooth look to your card front. So I'm gonna tap off the ink on a separate piece of paper and then I'm gonna start in one area by doing a circular motion, keeping the center of the area as light as possible. And then going around the outside and darkening it up and really blending it in. Once I have my first color done, I'm gonna switch the foam, keep all the foams on the bottom of my inks, and I'm gonna move to the next color. And again, I'm gonna start on the last color a little bit so I get some really pretty blending between the two colors, and I'm going in circular motions, tiny circular motions, all around a larger circle around the spotlight. That's gonna keep the spotlight the lightest possible color, and everything else is gonna get nice and dark and deep color. So then I'm gonna go all the way out to the edge because this time I'm gonna bring in my third color and blend on top of that. So you can see that I'm not getting really dark all around the edge. That's because I'm gonna bring in this third color and this time, instead of going from the center, I'm gonna come in from the outside. This way I get the edges of the card nice and colored and blended, and then I'm just gonna to go towards the center a little bit, but not all the way in. This way I get a really pretty gradient of colors, and then again, that spotlight, which is where my embellishment is going to sit, stays nice and light and bright, and it looks like there's a little spotlight hitting the card. So I'm finishing up kind of going around, making sure that everything is really nice and blended in, and that you don't see harsh lines between the three colors. Once I get it to that point, I've noticed that the spotlight, I think, needs a touch more color to it, so it doesn't look like it's a white spot necessarily. So I'm gonna bring in some spun sugar, which is the really lightest pink that I have, and I'm just going to go th towards the middle and just blend all three colors together and just kind of deepen that color. Now I'm gonna take the Dear Lizzie Lovely Day 6x6 paper pad that was in one of the add-ons. I'm gonna grab my perfect little crepe paper foiled puffy heart embellishment. I'm gonna match up something, and I really like this black and white script lettering here. So I want a strip of pattern paper on the edge there. I really like the way that turned out on the first card, so I'm gonna do something very similar. I'm gonna cut down this six by six piece of paper. I wasn't sure what size I was doing at first, so I decided to do a standard card size. So I cut it down to four and a quarter, and now I'm gonna cut it down to five and a half. Once I have that, then I'm gonna layer my blended spotlight piece on top, and I'm just judging how much I need to cut off. It's almost an inch, not quite. And there we go, now I have it all ready to adhere together. So I'm just gonna take some ThermoWeb Memory Runner XL and put a bunch of that on the back of that panel there and layer it on top of the pattern paper. Then I'm gonna grab my puffy heart and put it right in the middle of the spotlight and it really does look like there's a little spotlight shining on that pretty heart. Now I'm coming up with my sentiment, so I'm gonna grab one of the sticker sheets, and I like that some of those stickers on that crepe paper there are foiled gold, so I think that's perfect. And I'm gonna cut some foam strips there just to sit behind it so I can pop that up a little bit so it doesn't get lost behind how big the puffy heart is. And I like that. So then I'm gonna grab a couple of chipboard embellishments. We have some thickers in the kits, and I liked a couple of the little hearts. I started with that larger gold foil heart, but I think it just takes away from the puffy heart if it's too big. So I went with something small like I did in the first card. A couple of little hearts, and then I grabbed a couple of little heart stickers as well. And I really like the um, black and white one here from Crate Paper because I think it really mimics the black and white paper on the side there. Now that that's good to go, I am going to get a card base which is just a standard top folding card base, four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to adhere that all together. 
Then I'm going to take some Tonic Studios Nouveau Crystal Drops in gold and add those to the side. On the first card, I used a pale pink color. I really, the gold is my absolute favorite. I love that. And once I have a few of those little dimensional drops, they do dry dimensional, so that is really nice. Then my card is pretty much done. Really simple and easy, but a fun way to draw a lot of attention to an embellishment and a fun way to use up some of the add-ons and goodies from Scrapbook Circle Kits. Thanks so much for stopping by.